for residents. Their thirst for artificial sweetener is actually polluting Guana Lake in a very surprising way. Sucralose, the artificial sweetener found in those yellow packets like Splenda, was detected in Guana Lake at levels higher than any of Florida's dirty wastewater treatment facilities. Yeah, meteorologist Mark Collins is on a mission this morning. He's actually headed out into the Guana River to take some water samples. Uh, Mark, tell us a little bit more about what you're going to be doing this morning. Yeah, I heard about this. It was so amazing. So the way this is working is that people in uh, Ponte Vedra, when they drink the artificial sweetener, it goes into the waste treatment plant. And it may be that all of the irrigation into the yard is taking some of the sucralose laced with the water and it runs through the watershed and it's winding up here in Lake Ponte Vedra. So today I went out with, uh, I'm out here in the lake and we're going to do some water sampling to find the point source here. And every month they go out in the lake here and test the water quality. And um, Jimmy Tomazinos is a scientist here at the GTM Research Reserve, and he's taking me out. So we're going to do the Guano River first, grab some samples, and then I guess what, we, what do we do? Run them back, and then they test them in the lab? Yeah, so we're going to be taking the samples uh, in the river first because you basically start from the uh, up, you go downstream to upstream, and so we're going to start on our downstream portion and work up into Guana Lake all the way over to Meichler's okay. Landing. Okay. Much. And so we're also going to collect samples of the bacteria in there to find out the health of the, this area. And the good news is it's actually been pretty good, but we don't know yet if sucralose has any impact on the fish, but with time and research, we'll find out if this will have any impact on the environment. So from Lake Guana River, I'm meteorologist Mark Collins. Back to you.